What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? That was a weak, weak clap. Today we have the Unity Fast Micro Mount, Fast Riser, Fast whatever you want to call it. Now this has been out for a few years and when I put it on this rifle I didn't expect to make a video on it because I figured most people knew what this was. When I posted pictures of this rifle on social media I got a ton of questions about it. Some ignorant ass comment, mostly gen genuine questions like, bro, what's up with the optic mount? Why is it so high? Ho height over bore, bro. All sorts of questions. So I figured maybe there's a lot of people who don't know why this optic is so tall and the advantages and whatnot. So I'm going to do a very quick video explaining it. So like I said, the biggest thing is obviously is the height over bore. This thing is 82 million feet <laughs> above the bore. No, it's 2.26 inches center line above the ball. You know, a lot of the tallest optics before this one was 1.93, and there's a couple reasons why it's so tall. There's a couple advantages. For me, the biggest advantage is gonna be shooting under nods as I dive into this night vision world. Uh, having something much higher up uh, off of the rifle uh, is a lot more comfortable. It also allows you to shoot passively through the optic. Um, if something is very, very low down, you can't get down there with the nods to see through it. So if you wanna shoot passively, through the optic, you need something. Uh, it's just a lot easier and a lot more comfortable to have something so high up. Also, again, with night vision, if you have a D-ball or some sort of big laser aiming device out on the end of the muzzle, you need a red dot up higher to clear that muzzle device so you can see over it. If it's blocking your view and you can't see, that is no good. Very similar for gas mask. You know, officers out there, whoever, if you're gonna be shooting through a gas mask, having this taller optic helps. Uh, Air Pro as well. If you're shooting with over the air Air Pro and you have to get really low on the rifle, that could break that seal. Um, oh, I just hit my knee on the desk. <laughs> that could break that seal on there and that is not ideal. But the main thing for me is it's just very, very comfortable. I have a bad habit of turtling on rifles and I've been trying to break that for years and it always sneaks back up. So this high mount allows you to stay straight up, your head up, better posture, it's very comfortable. So even when I'm not shooting under nods or or any of the other scenarios that I mentioned, I prefer this optic. I want all of my guns to be this height now because it is just very, very, very comfortable. Um, I wanna thank the sponsor of the video really, really quick. It's Blackout Coffee. Mm -mm -mm. This is cinnamon French toast as always. Make fun of me, I don't care. It's delicious, the cup is from uh, Dangerous but good. It says decaf, ha decaf has no victory. Blackout Coffee makes coffee, tea, hot chocolate. Absolutely delicious. Discount code link down in the video description. I always say it, but if you try it, you will not be disappointed. But I will warn you, you will probably become addicted. All right, these mounts are compatible with all the Aimpoint T and H series. So that micro footprint. There's a lot of other brands that work with that mount as well, but it was made for the Aimpoint T and H. Now, if you don't rock an Aimpoint, you are absolutely a poor. If you rock anything else besides Aimpoint, as you see here, I'm rolling some close-ups of my optic. I have the Aimpoint Holosun T2, because I am not a poor. Now, Vortex, Sig, Holosun, Primary Arms, a bunch of folks make uh, red dots that work on this footprint, but yes, Aimpoint is the best out of all of them. I will have an Aimpoint T2 on here once the, uh, the funds allow it. Another cool thing this mount has, it has built-in iron sights. So, there's two different ways you can set it up. You can have a front and a rear iron sight in this optic. Now, there's not much uh, space in between them, very, very small. This is gonna be a backup, an emergency, a close-up. You're not shooting 200 yards easily with a sight radius that's about an inch long. Um, but, hey, it's a backup. God forbid your dot goes down if it's unlikely, if it's, any, if it's from a quality company, but it could happen. I like having backups. The other thing you can do is take the front sight out and the rear sight that's in here, which is also adjustable for windage, by the way. I thought that was uh, pretty cool. I thought I knew everything about this sight when I got it, and then I didn't realize the rear sight's adjustable for windage. If you put a front sight, you know, a Magpul backup front, front sight on here, uh, the rear sight will co-witness with that front sight, so now you have a respectable amount of sight radius there. And that's kind of cool. I like having backups. Two is one, one is none. Yay for that. Um, so two screws, you talk it down, very simple, not hard. It also does work with the American De American Defense Manufacturing uh, quick detach mount, if you like that. The body is 7075 aluminum, alum, aluminum. <laughs> type three uh, anodized finish, so the finish should hold up very, very well. 
you can look at the dimensions, the weight. MSRP 199, I have seen it for less than that over the years, but that is the MSRP on the Unity site. Testing, again, I'm gonna be really quick. Um, this will be my main night vision gun eventually. I want to put a few more rounds through this gun before I strap my mall on here and make it my dedicated night vision gun. With that said, I'm pretty comfortable with it now, so I could probably convert it over now. Um, I did a dedicated review on this, so if you're wondering anything about this gun, I think it's pretty cool. The best thing in my, my opinion is the Roscoe Manufacturing 11 and a half inch K9 barrel. If you haven't checked out our K9 barrels, I say our, because I work for Roscoe Manufacturing. If you haven't checked out the barrels, they are extremely soft shooting, very, very accurate, and man, this gun shoots like a dream, and a big part of that is going to be the barrel. So I have a few hundred rounds, most of it during the day so far. Again, I'm still testing to make sure this is good to go. I've done some dry fire. I've done some dry fire under nods. I've done some white light training. Most of the stuff is at the range during the day. All different drills. I won't bore you with the specifics. One-ups, transitions. We always do a bunch of running and gunning. You get the idea a few hundred rounds. So the biggest pro for me is gonna be the heads up, uh, co the comfort of the heads up uh, shooting. When, you, when you're turtling down and focusing down, that hurts your neck, that hurts your back. But this one, you're more natural, you're more aware, your head's up, you see, you have better uh, sight of what's around you. I'm drawing blanks on words. It's like seven o'clock in the morning and that's my first cup of coffee. So I'm a little slow motion today. Um, if you're shooting under nods or a gas mask, this is like a necessity. It doesn't break the seal on your uh, hearing protection. Made in the States, high quality. I have nothing bad to say. No cons, nothing. Everything I've seen from Unity Tactical is top notch. They appear to be shooters and they know what they're doing. And I think everything I've ever seen from them is very, very good. Um, the only thing I will caution you on, height over bore is a real thing, yes. Height over bore is legit. Again, this is an 82 foot riser, no. Um, you need to be aware of the height over bore. You need to uh, know your holdovers. So if you don't know what that means is height over bore, this is 2.26 inches above the barrel or so. And you sight it in at uh, 50 yards, for example, 50, 200, that's what you choose to do. So when you're at 50 yards, your point of aim is also your point of impact. As you get closer, you have to hold the dot higher to hit exactly uh, uh, where you want to hit. So your point of aim is higher than your point of impact. So the bigger the riser, the bigger the distance is, the bigger the holdover at closer distances. So what I suggest you do, there's a lot of good drills out there to learn height over bore. Put a bunch of dots, circles on your target, start at like three feet, shoot, uh, hold the red dot, uh, Hold the red dot on that circle, shoot at three, shoot at five, 10, 15, 20, 50, whatever distances you want. And you'll see uh, when you're really, really close, that gap is big. And as you get further away, your point of aim becomes your point of impact. So it's very important with me because I shoot a ton of different rifles for reviews. Got to know your, your, your holdovers and you can get shots uh, accurately on target. I'm done talking. I don't know why I went on that ramp, but there's plenty of new shooters who don't know that. So now you know never skip on your mount i am going to go on another rant i would rather have a good optic with a really good mount than a top-notch optic with a crappy mount don't skip on your mounts whether it be low power variable optics or red dots don't skimp on your mounts i actually need to thank brownells brownells sent this unity riser to me for the review they also sent me a law tactical bcg that i haven't put in here yet i can't wait to shoot that that allows you to um shoot the rifle uh that allows you to shoot the rifle with the stock folded, and I can't wait to test that out. Thank you to Brownells. They're always supporting the channel. Good folks. That's why that is hanging up on the wall. I also want to thank the sponsor of the video, Blackout Coffee. I wouldn't run without coffee. I couldn't speak without coffee, so thank you to them. I will put affiliate links down in the video description if you want to pick one up. Hopefully, I can find you a good deal. We have swag, short shirts, patches. You want to support the channel? That's the best way to do so. You don't want to support the channel, that's okay. I still love you. Like, comment, subscribe, enable the bell notification. Those things are free. They tremendously help me out. And I definitely appreciate it. I will see you guys next time. Peace.